Be in touch with all of your darkest fantasies. Have you created a life for yourself where you can experience them? I have. I am fucking crazy. But I am free. box down below i just heard a ding so that could be significant to you you could be receiving a message or giving a message okay so you have hidden energy being pluto renewal scorpio energy also you have um lilith taboo in the fourth house cancer home so virgo What's coming out of you is Lilith. I was staring at the mirror today. And I said. I'm really thankful. What you put your thoughts on. That's what manifests. So I'm thankful. I'm really grateful. Lilith represents not being submissive in order to be seen as valuable, not shrinking yourself to be more digestible for anything or for anyone. Lilith represents, there is a portal between my legs that gives life. And if, as a woman, if, if you think that a woman would ever chase after you, right like your photos and follow you and fawn all over you in order to get you to love them if you if you think that that's something that a woman would ever do a real woman would ever do you're sadly mistaken lilith represents walking away from it all everything and everyone where we try to shrink ourselves to hide what it is that we truly desire what we truly want women want to be soft be allowed to love and be loved and there's the recognition that if it's not safe 
for me to do that with you. If all it is ever about is about your self-esteem, your ego, or you wanting somebody's money, or you wanting to have multiple parties connected to you to fill your ego up, you came to the wrong person. You don't mess with God's children. Move out of the way. Get on somewhere. With Lilith, this is about putting your foot down. You're not going to receive anything from me emotionally, mentally, spiritually, sexually, financially. Nothing from me. Not even an acknowledgement. Not even acknowledgement that you exist. Because I'm Lilith. And if you don't know who that is, go, you'll find out. This is saying that you don't need another individual to feel whole. Before I did your reading, I got down on my knees and I thank God for always being there. For letting me know that I'm whole and I'm on the right path. I said out of all the people you chose me to be a messenger, thank you for knowing me in the womb when I didn't even know myself. Thank you for loving me when I find it so difficult to love myself and I search for it in the wrong places. Thank you for being there to hear me when no one wanted to listen, no one cared to listen. Thank you for seeing me when I didn't even know what I was looking at. Thank you for hearing me when I was voiceless. See, I realized it was so much bigger. Jesus was a Virgo, and he knew it was bigger than him. The ridicule and the people who would come towards him, right? They would ignore him for weeks, 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 weeks. But the moment that they pop out, the moment he pops out and he's got himself a new life or it's going really well for himself, finding something new for himself, right? as jesus and remember it's very feminine energy man woman doesn't matter people run towards jesus oh i want i want whatever you got whatever you're preaching right but when it comes to being persecuted and having to go up to this cross the sacrifice oneself for the good of all not a people The Bible happened during the Piscean Age. If you've ever heard about the Tower of Babel, which is also in the Bible, um, how everyone was working together to build this building up, you know, to get to heaven, God see it. You know, there's gods that are looking at it, not the God that was within the womb, but all these other gods and goddesses and deities. They saw this. They said, oh my God, they're going to get up here. They're going to get up here into the, the other realms with us. And you know what happens when they get up here? they're going to realize that they are God too. They're not going to listen to us anymore. They're not going to worship us anymore. They're not going to give us their energy anymore. Oh my God, that's horrible. And get this, they're going to start to make their own universes. They're going to start to think for themselves. Oh, we cannot have that. Time to smite. He smited it down. All these gods and goddesses, they smited down this tower that was really, they were really close to getting to heaven. Smiting it down, all of a sudden everyone starts speaking tongues. Now no one can understand each other to build this tower, to build this foundation, which is all what cancer is about, what makes you feel safe, right? And there's a recognition that when we build, oh my gosh, this is really deep, the foundation that gets built when we interact with so many different people in our lives, right? We build our identity off of our trauma. The recognition that we aren't our trauma is the change to create one's own new foundation by oneself of who you truly are, that you hide, right? Even if you look, you can't really see it, but you can see it. Now remove the card. Hell, even look in the mirror, right? You can see it, but you can't really see it. Maybe other people can see it, but you can't, that they can't really see it. What's hidden, right? What makes you feel so safe? The transformation is now you're standing up for what makes you feel safe because you deserve to feel safe. I said, I've, I've bent myself in certain situations to try to make other people feel comfortable. Well, when it came down to it, when I needed them to be there, they weren't there. They didn't care. 
Virgo, you've developed strong boundaries around you. And you're doing what's best for yourself. I see you withdrawing energy. This means you're not liking people's photos anymore. Especially if you're a woman. You're like, I'm not chasing nobody. You're not following people. You're not, you're not trying to give your energy out necessarily. And that makes you extremely desirable. I also see you coming into more of your femininity and allowing yourself to be sexually liberated as an individual. It doesn't matter your gender. Virgo is a very feminine sign. Without Virgo, you cannot truly manifest. Yeah, you can think it, Gemini, but with Virgo, you're not, you got to be able, with Virgo, you do something. Without Virgo, you're not going to do anything. You're not going to be on mission. What's your mission, right? Virgo's mission. It's work. Very interesting. It's very independent. Some of you are entrepreneurs or you work for yourself. Virgo is a very independent energy. You may work with homes or realty, or you could even be a, a psychic, a healer for some of you. Others of you, this could even be your home is changing, the feminine energy in your home is changing. And more willing to admit as a woman, I'm not going to deal. This is, this, this is the vibration you're seeing in our generation right now where women are saying, I don't want a future. Oh, you still following your ex on social media? You think nobody's gonna pay attention? You don't. You don't think I know? And you still expect me to give you money, or energy, time, effort, sex? You think you can run out of people's lives, in and out, in and out, because you see them doing good? You could just use them. Stop playing with God's children. Has the karma not been bad enough? Stop. Leave people alone. Leave them to be happy. Oh, you see them doing better and trying to find new love. So then you come in, right, to bother them. To give what? More false hope that they don't believe. It's starting to grow up. Lilith, this energy is what you're seeing with women right now. I don't want a future. I don't want somebody giving me roller coaster rides. You need women to fawn all over you all day to make yourself feel important and be a big man or whatever the fuck. No, I don't need it. I don't want it. That's the energy of Lilith. She said, if you need me to be so submissive in order to make yourself feel better, well, I must be pretty powerful. And what do I look like being submissive to you? That don't even make no damn sense. That doesn't even make any sense. And the notion that when a woman shows emotion, she's considered dramatic and emotional. When a man shows emotion, oh, everybody needs to walk on eggshells. He could, he could lose control. Right? When a woman's on her period, the hormone that is actually increased is the hormone that is found in men. You know those mood swings that she gets. Where she looks at you like she like you just got one more strike on you. Or the vibration of I don't feel like dealing with anyone during your period or those types of things. The things that you can't stand, the the moodiness and it's up and down and it's sad and then it's angry to that same hormone is found in a man. When a woman's on her period, that hormone is actually increased. The male hormone is actually increased. That emotion that you see that's all over the place, it's what men carry. And women are sick of raising other women's sons who didn't do it the right way, apparently, because they don't know how to act right. And even if they do know how to act right, they don't want to. Women are sick of it. That's Lilith. Lilith is saying, uh-uh. I want a real home, foundation. I want to feel safe. You don't make me feel safe. You don't make me feel safe. You don't know how to have a proper conversation and approach a woman and court her for crying out loud. Approach to have a conversation, say hi. Instead of needing your ego stroke so much that you actually keep fumbling the damn bag, not even fumbling it, but kicking it and throwing it into eternity. Come on now. This is literally like, this is the energy of women nowadays, of Lilith. I just saw 12, 12 on the dot, and this is revolutionary. Why? I said today, I said, I don't want my future children to think it's okay for men to need to be chased in order for her to be loved or, or whatever. No. 
Because I didn't want my son to grow up to think it was normal for a man to be chased after women and gods over in order to feel important or to feel his self-esteem, you know, has been serviced in some way. It's not normal. You have the two of cups and you have the sun. That's a yes. That's a yes. If you had a question when you came here, the answer is yes. Yeah. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. This is my shit. Oh, the pain is not bad. <laughs> yeah. All right. Many of you will be traveling somewhere you've never been before. All right. Mm, interesting. All right. Two of Cups, Judgment. You have Libra, Aries, Scorpio, Capricorn, Venus, and Cancer can be Leo with the Two of Cups. You have the Sun, Leo, the Fool, Aquarius, Aries, Scorpio. You have the Ace of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Aries, Sagittarius, the Emperor, Aries, Scorpio, Taurus, Leo, Hidden Energy, Ten of Pentacles in Reverse, Virgo, and Mercury. Also, there's um, someone spying in Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, King of Wands in Reverse, Cancer, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, Scorpio, Ophetius. Okay, so if you are a feminine energy, whoever you left behind was a cheater, a player, wanted your attention, wasn't a good example um, as a father or as a man, like a show off, didn't feel like they were, like, they needed other people's approval to feel good about themselves, and they're watching you, they're talking, they're talking about you badly. It's a man doing this, though. Ten of Pentacles. Right? They only wanted to be with you for money. So I don't think you really care, Virgo. You lucked out. Uh, whoever they're stuck with doesn't want them either. <laughs> and is lying to them. Because they're a vampire. You see how he's a vampire in reverse? Yeah. Uh, someone who kept trying to suck your energy away, God removed them. Okay? I feel like God removed a lot of different people from your life, and you're just accepting it. You're accepting a new beginning, and I see you um, going on a date, getting to know somebody as well. Um, you guys are very compatible, like friends and lovers. If you're in a relationship already, it's very faithful. If you're in a relationship, it's very faithful. In the past, there was infidelity, though. If you're in a relationship, there was definitely some form of infidelity. I'm also seeing losing a home or bankruptcy. The sun is here, then the full. And many of you love what you do for work. You could work with children for some of you. I see a lot of you are also um, forgiving yourself. The biggest thing is forgiveness. Ace of Cups, you're moving in with someone for a lot of you. If you are in a relationship, congratulations. Some of you are moving and you found like a roommate, congratulations. Ace of Cups, if someone's pregnant, it's also a girl. But uh, someone's also proposing, uh, she's going to say yes. I'm so sorry that I wrote someone's proposal. Um, you may also already have a son. You already have a son. I see you starting a new project, a very feminine project. Um, your, your husband will step up to take care of the children. Some of you, this is the delivery room. Um, I'm also seeing a lot of you, if you're single, you become enlightened about, um, like you could be freshly graduated, uh, doing a new career, something you've never done before. Uh, I'm also seeing you travel somewhere you've never been before. If you're in a competition of some kind, you're gonna win, even though the other team will get angry. Uh, with the emperor, there's also an appreciation of your feminine, um, Whoever your fem whoever your wife is or your girlfriend is, you appreciate them. If you're single with the emperor, you're in a state where you want commitment with somebody and you're giving them that offer. Okay, this is happening very soon. Um, it does lead to exactly what you want. Some of you may live in a hot climate. Some of you will be starting a new job, though, that you really, really like. Yeah. Also, family could be a negative influence for some of you. I see many of you meeting someone brand new. 
that's for a lot of you. Like, you don't want anyone from the past because you're like, it just doesn't work out and I don't want to invest in it anymore. Does it make any sense to you? Okay, advice. All right, yeah. Yeah. Mm hmm. The hidden energy is the Ace of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Scorpio, Fecius. Many of you could also be having a boy or you could be starting some type of new creative project. You have the Three of Swords, Saturn and Libra, the Tower, Aries, Scorpio, the Magician, Gemini, Aries, Virgo, Scorpio. This is very masculine energy. Okay, the Magician is actually like divine masculine energy. The advice is enjoy this new beginning. You're going to be FaceTiming or on the phone with somebody. Okay, this could be someone brand new. For many of you, someone brand new or a spark has been ignited with somebody. Your your advice is to let go of um, the heartbreak of someone who manipulated you. They not only manipulated you, but they lied about infidelity. They kept trying to not... to. They were very strategic about the moves they would make and when they would make them. Because they were cheating. They had another person involved. Like they were still following an ex on social media or still dealing with someone else. Through your swords, that's the heartbreak. There was some type of connection, relationship or something. The person was lying to you. They were like an energy vampire. They didn't want you to go because they didn't want you to have somebody brand new. They knew that you would find better. And if you're scared I'm going to find better, it's because you know you don't deserve me. So we shouldn't even be having this conversation, pretty much. Keep moving forward. You're going to meet someone brand new who thinks different, moves different, enjoy it. Embrace it. Continue. There's like love messages. I also see you traveling to see um, someone brand new. Okay. Um, many of you are not relocating somewhere. If you originally were going to relocate or move closer to someone, you're not. You're not moving closer to them. You're not giving anything to them, especially emotionally, mentally, spiritually, sexually, or financially. Cancer, rules, banking. You're not giving anybody a damn dime. No. That has been your reading, Virgo. It's actually quite a beautiful reading. I actually like if, you, if you're single, there's someone coming in that wants a relationship with you. The masculine energy is in control. The feminine energy didn't even show up. So, whoever it is, you'll be compatible with them. And it's it's an awakening. It's a new beginning for you, but you're accepting it. This new beginning does require you to allow God to speak right through you. Okay, it's Gaia. Oh, what does that look like? A woman's womb coming out, right? Um, essentially, if you look right above it, right? It's really about birth. The birth of a new sense of enlightenment. A new sense of joy and appreciation. Many of you, this is also in the entertainment industry. You're famous. You may be a CEO, entrepreneur, or even a father for some of you. Don't do whatever it takes to get what you want. The masculine energy has been doing whatever it takes to get what they want, even if it means manipulating someone. And it's made them extremely unattractive and got them cut off. Like, really cut off like so you're not dealing like the feminine energy is not dealing with somebody <laughs> that's for sure if you're in a relationship though i see you're very happy it's very faithful as well congratulations i love to see people win it means that if you've been attracted to my vibration that means i'm winning too i love to see everybody win um you're very compatible if you're in a relationship or a connection you guys are going to travel somewhere you've never been before, take the children, maybe like a family vacay or a long time even, like a vacay, right? Um, some of you are going to have to get over some type of infidelity if you're in a relationship. Um, I don't know how you can do that. I mean, I've never been in a relationship where someone cheated. I mean, I could stay with them. I just can't do it. But if you're in that situation, I'm sure you're going to know what is best for you to do to get over that particular thing. For a lot of you, it's something brand new, new activities with your partner, better communication, even sexual communication, and recognition that you're extremely bored in that relationship, moon and cancer. Although you may be famous, Pisces and Mars, Six of Wands, Jupiter and Leo, you may be seen out together. Um, 
you guys will be seen together in public more like showing off your wife or your girlfriend or your husband or your wife or your husband your boyfriend um maybe you work with celebrities like you could be a part of a gossip site nsc sports news news reporter i'm also seeing i'm um, a wedding you could be going to a wedding bar mitzvah baby shower if you are in a relationship you're the happiest you've ever been There is a feeling that you may look at other options that you want, but you don't go after those other options because you're in the relationship. And the relationship is very publicly known. It's really just about keeping it fresh. Keep it fresh in the relationship. You guys should be fine. I see you getting a new job as well. Congratulations. Also a promotion. Congratulations. You worked really hard for it. Um, it's going to be something brand new just for you. It's a new business. If you're a woman watching this, your husband or your boyfriend is about to start a new business. It's going to be very successful. Congratulations, you guys. Um, that's what I got for you. This has been your reading. Or some of you are cardiologists. Like you cut people's hearts open for a living. Or you're a surgeon. You could be uh, recovering from a heart surgery or a heart attack. Be aware that in the future, someone may have a heart attack. And if you know about this ahead of time, you can actually prevent it. That's the point of watching a reading. Not, oh, well, the person's just going to have a heart attack. No, if you know ahead of time, you can prepare for it. You're not going to be surprised when somebody breaks down next to you or something like that. Okay? Um, yes. If someone's getting some type of surgery, it's going to go very well. Yes. Whoever's older, whichever surgeon or doctor is older, is the one you should go with. There's two men, but one man is older than the other person. Go with the man that's older than the other person. He has more experience. The other person is just going to tell you whatever you want, and you're going to avoid a catastrophe, essentially, okay, by not dealing with, with whoever is younger, whatever that means for you. Yeah, okay, this, this can also be in love. You could be dealing with somebody older, okay? All right, Ashe. <laughs> Oh, also, a lot of you have commitment issues. I see that right there. You're going to become enlightened about that and step up, rather you're a man or a woman, towards commitment. And it comes from the love of self. Literally, it's going to come from you loving yourself. Okay. <laughs> Many of you are going to get an official relationship. Congratulations. Ashe. Hey, Lay. What did you do to make a mark on this world? What mountains did you climb? Which angels gave you their wings? Which skies have you flown? And when you reached the heavens, who was there to catch you when you fell? And did they tell you that you saved them too? Like you saved me. That they're mending your wings and holding them up to the sun. Just to step back and watch you fly. So go ahead, Lay. Fly. <laughs> 